simply said, it is time. Well, well. He wants the chalice then. I need to fetch the bloodstone chalice. He's off to Redwater Day. Well then, best of luck to you. Wow, we have a hookah bar, and that's just uh, an understatement to be honest. Oh my god. That is hideous. Jesus, okay, let's activate this and see what happens. Alright, just a few more hits. You dead. Oh, I gotta fill the chalice with a uh, vampire blood. Hey, buddy, I had a good time. Thanks, buddy. And the tyranny of the sun. Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's e Young here and welcome to Skyrim Dawn Guard. Let's play as Vampire Lord episode number 4. In the previous episode we visited a hookah bar. I am dead serious, well it was more like a skooma bar but same difference. We went in there and we filled some sort of chalice with uh, the blood of this spring. I think it's called Redwater Spring, which was filled with blood. It was pretty disgusting. And uh, after that we killed like two people and then used their bloods for something. And now we gotta return to Castle Volkahar report in and see where that takes us. So let's do that right now. Let's go back to Castle Volkahar and uh, complete our quest and uh, get our next one. But yeah, so far uh, the Vampire Lord side of things is pretty exciting. And uh, I did do the werewolf, uh, the Dawnguard werewolf side before doing this. And in that side, uh, Serana actually went to the Dawnguard. She actually visited me inside the Dawnguard fort and she wants my help to stop her father from doing whatever it is that he wants to do because uh, she just doesn't approve and I wonder if that is the case with uh, the, the uh, vampire lord side of things I don't know how her actions are gonna differ this time but I know it's gonna be interesting to see how they differ so but for now let's continue doing the main quest line and uh, improve our vampire lord powers so far he's quite badass uh, the one thing that uh, I don't like about being Vampire Lord, and uh, this is something that critics pointed out, and uh, they're definitely right about this, is that the dude is freaking huge, and uh, that means that in certain narrow hallways, you can't actually fit in. Uh, if you watched the previous episode, I actually did experience that. I literally could not go through this hallway. I had to transform back and transform back again, and uh, it was just a little tedious. But uh, so far, though, quite badass, and that is just disgusting. But anyways, I think I'm getting used to it. Garan Marathi, give it to me, brother. What's up? I see you have returned. You're ugly. Lord Harkon will be pleased. Indeed. You met Stolf and Salonia, I assume. Oh, he knew. Lord Harkon and I suspected they might follow you there. I see. Well, I killed them both. As well, you should have. Duh. Welcome to the politics of Lord Harkon's court. Mm -hmm. Then Galmo and Ortheolf both long for our Lord's throne but cannot make overt moves against him. Fail. Each sought to gain power by using his underling to kill you and keep the chalice for himself. Mm -hmm. By ensuring the chalice reaches our lord, you have increased his power over them and at the same time, deprived them of their little pets. Uh -huh. You've done, Lord Harkon, two great services. Take what you've learned to heart and be careful who you trust. Indeed. Now, I believe that Lord Harkon wishes to speak with you. Ooh, interesting. Uh, let's go to Lord Harkon. And did I get a reward? I'm above the petty squabbles here. Nope. Okay, you suck, buddy. Maybe Lord Harkon will uh, give me something here. So let's climb up the stairs and uh, see what Lord Harkon wants with me. Hello, buddy. Hello. Wow, he's really thinking about something. Maybe he's daydreaming about porn. Maybe. I don't know. That's uh that's what it looks like. Nice mustache. What's up? Ah, you are here. Good. You wish to speak to me. Yes, I did. When I told you that I was grateful for my daughter's safe return, I told the truth. But I did not tell you everything. How dare you? I suspected as much. Good. 
Strong instincts and a cunning mind will serve you as well as blade, spell, or claw. Indeed. As you know, vampires are powerful, but we have limits. Our great enemy is the sun. Mm -hmm. And until recently, it's an enemy we've had no way to fight. For centuries, I searched for an answer to this problem. I found an old prophecy written by a moth priest. Those scholars who read the Elder Scrolls. Uh -huh. The prophecy tells of a time in which vampires will gain power over the sun and will no longer fear its tyranny. I believe the secret to unraveling that prophecy is written in Serana's Elder Scroll. Uh -huh. I have ordered the court to assemble. I have a new task for us all to carry out, and that includes you. Oh, man. Come now. And hear my proclamation. Interesting. The Moth Priest also showed up in uh, the previous, in the uh, Dawn Guard Werewolf playthrough. But this time I have to go to them uh, for help uh, to read the Elder Scroll to find a way to stop uh, the vampires from blotting out the sun and getting control over it or whatever. This time I am actually using the Elder Scroll to aid in controlling the sun. Quite interesting. Science of the Night. Hear my words. Oh, look at me. The prophesied time is at last upon us. Soon we will claim dominion over the sun itself. Oh, man. And forge a new realm of eternal darkness. Sounds now great. Now that I have reclaimed one of my Elder Scrolls, we must find a moth priest to read it. I have spread false rumors about the discovery of an Elder Scroll in Skyrim to lure a moth priest here. Now it is time to see if those efforts have borne fruit. Go forth and search the land for rumors of a moth priest within our borders. Look to the cities. Speak to innkeepers, carriage drivers, anyone who would meet a traveler. Go now, and carry out this task. This is my command. Wow. Will be done, my Any idea how you're going to find Whoa. Priest? Skyrim's a pretty big place. Hmm. Oh, let's see. Uh, do you have any know? Where would a moth priest actually go? Well, back before I... You know. The College of Winterhold was the first place I'd think to go for any kind of magic or historical thing. This dialogue is exactly the same. About all kinds of things that people probably shouldn't know about. It's exactly the same as the other one. Now that I think of it, I'm going to come along with you. Yep. I've been really wanting to get out and explore a bit. Looks like this quest is going to be very similar to the one in the Dawnguard Let's Play. Yeah, this is. She says literally the exact same things as she says when she visits me in Dawnguard, and during that time that's actually where i left off so i know this is a short episode guys and i do apologize for that but i do want to make sure that these two uh, let's plays are sort of going in parallel so we can start and end at the same time they intertwine at the same time and this seems to be the point of intertwination if that's a word so i'm gonna leave it here for today ladies and gentlemen look forward to the next Vampire Lord episode. On the plus side, uh, the previous Vampire Lord episode was actually quite long that with that long-ass dungeon. So, yeah. So, look forward to the next episode. Thank you for tuning in. If you haven't subscribed yet, be sure you do so to be updated on these fantastic Let's Plays. And uh, be sure to follow me on Facebook, Google+, and Twitter to be updated on all my videos from the ones I upload on TGN to the ones I upload on Young Gear. And, uh, yeah, it's going to be a great few weeks that are going to come along. And uh, finally, be sure to like and share the video so that more people can watch these Let's Plays. They can be aware that this is going on and uh, we can all have fun together destroying people as a vampire lord. Thank you very much and young out.